One of the most beautiful things about a blog is that it comes with a built-in working RSS feed. And that means that you can use that RSS feed to submit and promote your content to sites all over the web on autopilot. It does take a little bit of time up front, but once you've done this initial setup, everything new you post from here until eternity will continually get publicized for you via RSS. It's kind of a bit like the RSS widgets that we talked about in the article directories and content networks video that's also a part of Module 5. Hub Pages and Squidoo will take your RSS feed if you choose the RSS widget that they have available and constantly display your latest posts for you on your hub page or your Squidoo lens. So what we're going to do in this video is take that power of RSS and bring it to some other sites so that they too are always linking to and promoting your latest content. Most of these sites, um, the reason that we're using them isn't specifically to get human visitors, but they will help you build a backlink profile to your individual post pages automatically. And for that reason, it's absolutely worth getting this situation with RSS all set up. So what we're going to do is take the RSS feed from our blog and submit it to RSS feed directories so that they can syndicate that content and link back to that content. So my RSS feed here on my site, you can probably have one of these little symbols on your site if you're not familiar with it already. That's the RSS feed icon and that is your RSS feed. So you can copy it and copy the link address. If you're running a WordPress blog, it's probably going to be yourblog.com forward slash feed. Here's what the RSS feed will look like. So this is my most recent posts, tags, titles, dates, and RSS readers like Google Reader obviously take that, this feed here and make it look attractive. Now we're going to submit our RSS feed to the various RSS directories and there's a few in particular that I want you to pay attention to. So we'll go through each one of these for you and uh, I'm not going to go through the registration process and all of that for every one of these as I'm sure that you can handle that yourself. It's all pretty self-explanatory. Fill out the form, check your email, verify the link in your email, and then fill out the form on their site to submit your feed. But we'll do one or two so that you can take a peek. This is feedag.com, and to add a feed, you go ahead and click Add Feed. Enter in the URL of your feed. Add descriptive tags, and I'm going to separate them by a comma because that's my preference. All right, and then enter this number. And it wants us to sign in, so this is one of those ones. So let's sign in or sign up. And we'll go through the sign up process. All right, and now I need to click the verification link in my email, so I will go and do that. And there I've verified my email address, so I can go back to sign in, enter in the username and password that I created. Thank you. And now I can actually submit my feed properly. And I'm going to choose comma separator because that's what I used in the box above. And then I'm going to write in the capture number. Save feed. Now I'm pretty sure that at some point in time I submitted this URL here already. But it looks like it worked anyway. And then you can verify what it looks like on the site by clicking that. And there's what my feed looks like on the feedag site. Looks good. So now on Feedag, there are links to my posts. There, I'm forwarded and I get to my actual blog. So that is one. There's also, and I'm just gonna go through these other ones that there are for you. Once you've gone through this sign up process, it's nearly identical on all of these sites. 
So there's feedfury.com and you do need to create an account with them as well. There is goldenfeed.com and you can enter in your feed there to submit it. Let's see if they make you sign up. They used to not. I don't think they do anymore. Thank you for submitting your RSS feed. So that's all that you have to do there. RSS Mountain, which does require that you register to submit your feed, but then they'll take it from there. And RSS Micro. RSS Micro also requires, I believe, a sign up. Yes, sign up here. Go through that process, submit your feed. Feedage.com or feedage.com. This is a really good site. Uh, so absolutely submit to this one and you will need an account with them as well to submit your feed. But this is one of the one of the very good ones to do. And then there's Ice Rocket. And Ice Rocket will let you if you go to the RSS builder and then you create an account you can submit your own RSS feed to Ice Rocket as well. So those are the ones that are the most popular, the most valuable for you to submit to. So go ahead and spend a few minutes and take the time to do that. Now we'll also talk about outsourcing and always be shipping module six. So if this kind of submission process makes your eyes roll back in your head with boredom, don't worry. We will have some solutions coming up for you for not just this kind of stuff, but all kinds of stuff in module six where we talk about outsourcing. But whether you do this by hand or whether you outsource it, this is a task that will pay off long term. You really only have to do it once and then it's out there working for you on its own after that. And sort of in its own way, your RSS feed is kind of always shipping for you too, right?